Hey, what's up guys? So right now I have a couple of things that I bought from AliExpress. Everything that kind of went or fit well with the golf bar, I decided to pick up. I got a key fob that matches the steering wheel as well. The stitching on the steering wheel and also the paddle shifter. So all in all, I'm kind of sticking with the same color scheme, kind of like a sky blue type of color. And I also found one of these things, well, a pair of each. They're door sill plates. All right, so the first thing to do is actually clay bar the area, because that area is most likely full of uh, grit and sand or uh, debris. What you're gonna do is use some sort of alcohol mixed with water solution to strip away any type of wax if you do wax over there. Uh, what I did was I used two painters tapes on the side to align everything. I have a straight edge in the back so that should be fine uh, in terms of keeping it straight. You can tell that that's 3M tape. I'm, not I'm really not quite sure if that's 3M tape. But when things for sure it's really sticky so just kind of work your way slowly. I peeled everything off but you could kind of go ahead and peel it halfway so you don't get a full on stick. Uh, it's really sticky. Uh, based on the, the uh, it's an aluminum plate so once it's on there it's going to be on there um, we're moving back to the uh, the rear passenger and that's on quite well overall do I recommend this I definitely do it, it creates a, 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 a flush look and more of a personality I think it came it should have came from factory all right so these go here They're a good fit, all right? Only thing stopping them from uh, coming out would be the 3M tape over here. So now to see if it closes. Works out. All right, so what I have here is the trim that would match this perfectly. The paddle shifters, it matches it perfectly, so. All right, so unfortunately, as you could tell, this product was not as advertised from the seller. Not the most perfect fitment. It's, it's, the description said it was for the Golf 7 as well. So not sure what happened there. Looking back, I'm not sure if I like this anyway. I think it's too much. I already got like the blue stripe in the background, which is way too much, so. In a way, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of glad it didn't fit. All right, but that's that. Uh, and this is a keychain. All right, guys, so I'm in the car. Let's go ahead and check out these cup holder lights. Pretty cool, huh? So basically how it works is when it's dark, when it senses darkness, all right, the light sensor, it'll come on. Well, once it's dark and it doesn't sense any motion, then it'll go off within, I think, 15 seconds. This is for the Mark 7 Golf R and G the GTI, I'm pretty sure. So these are pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and close the council. We're going to open the council again. Uh, a couple colors it comes with. Red, orange, blue, green, and all that. I decided to go for white. I think it complements the interior really well. But that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit.